Hey everyone, this is Captain Chris Velasquez, the mouse of the Merrimack and Mandolin Charters. Today we're going to show you some unique storage solutions on a boat to make sure that you're able to put everything away efficiently, neatly, so it's not in the way while you're trying to catch that fish of a lifetime. Okay, we're going to do this on my boat. It's in 2019, 24 foot pair custom. I love it. It's a great fishing platform. And we had to get a little creative for how we were going to uh, store some things on the boat for both fishing and safety stuff. So I'm going to start at the bow here and we're going to go uh right to my anchor locker this boat is blessed with a huge anchor locker and i don't use my anchor often because i do have my trolling motor which allows me to spot lock and stay in place so up here i throw up some big things that i don't really use that much uh, i got a drift sock all tied up there so i can just grab it and go when i need to okay and i also keep just in case a harness a stand-up harness and a plate in there and then i also have my anchor with 600 feet of road okay stepping back a little bit okay i got this little weight box that i made uh over the winter actually i had an old uh cutting board one night i couldn't sleep i just got up and made a little weight box for all my bottom fishing rigs um as we're getting out of haddock season and moving more towards stripers that will come off the boat minus a few weights this is a cool little thing right here these tackle webs okay i have these all over the boat now i got them a couple of years ago they're great for storage for uh things like extra knives i got sunscreen uh skin so soft for those green heads knife sharpeners so it's just a little catch-all that i got all over the boat okay as you can see i got another one over here all right this is kind of like what am i going to be using for the day i usually keep my terminal tackle box out here and uh a speed box which has a bunch of type of lures that i'm confident in if we run into a feed all right, and these stay right there. I change them out every day. I put them in the console um, when I go to home. And then whatever I think I'm gonna need for the day quickly, I usually pull these out so they're rigged ready to go. Okay, I have a huge fish box here in the front, but because I'm a charter okay. captain, we have to use type one life jackets. So I think I got seven type one adult life jackets in there and two childs. And everything's right in there. They're easy to pull out in case of emergency okay um i got my cutting board which pretty much sits there it's it's also used as another rigging station so i can tie hooks cut bait rig leaders all right just gives me a nice little platform to work on all right uh when i got my boat built i had brian the owner tossing these little drawers and this is my little weight station okay i keep my legs in here for when i'm striper fishing okay these ones are all one and a half I got my ones down here, pogey snag hooks, okay? Um, and I actually got another container that goes this way for uh, two ounces, which is generally what I use um, most around here, okay? We got under gunnel storage here for my harpoon, room for a couple of rod holders. I really like how Pair Customs did it. They extended this out so you can get, um, so you can get basically two rods back there and then two rods up here if you stagger them so if you're somebody who does a lot of index uh under gunnel storage with your rods um that's a great feature of having this boat as i go back to the console okay i got these little doohickeys from west marine all right there are cup holders but i didn't want them for cup holders the cups didn't really stay in it really that great so i just dribbled it and i made it a catch-all and I drilled holes in the bottom. So what I do is at the end of the day, I take my lures, I throw them in there, I pop this off, I rinse them, okay? Make sure they um, make sure they dry off and don't get rusty. And I got two, I got another one over here. So that's just kind of like I'm throwing things up here and kind of set it and forget it and come back at the end of the day. What I also did to this boat, and it looks like crap, um, but it's very effective. I just took some 4200 and some PVC and made this little railing around the edge so I can plop things down and they don't roll off. Things like cell phones, glasses, gloves, whatever. A couple of weights, if I just toss up there, um, they're not gonna fall off and roll down the deck. Which brings me to this. This is a Tackle Web's cup holder, and I actually got it to obviously hold my drink when I'm driving over here. But what I found, it's a good little live bait station. So I'll keep a couple weights and a couple pre-rigged leaders in here 
um, so they're ready to go. So I don't have to go around the boat. I don't have to go to the weight box. I don't have to go grab a leader. It's right here. I usually stock up uh, three or four rigs per trip so I can quickly access them and go from there. All right, and then inside, you know, as a charter captain, we have a ton of things that we get to bring out in the boat with us every day. So I have another tackle web here inside my door. This is where I keep my leader. And right now I just got packs of sluggos in here. All right, so that way I don't have to waste another uh, box for those. They all just stick right in. This is a lore a customer gave me the other day from Striper Mania. Can't wait to try it out. I think I'm gonna take it for a spin after this. Then I took another piece of PVC poured and just kind of uh, double side taped it to the fiberglass there and put up these uh, file holders. Now these are great. I got my, that's all my paperwork and licenses. I got some extra tools. Uh, wet wipes if anyone's going to use the bathroom. Allure I haven't put in a box yet. Which takes me to this. Okay. I don't have much space in my console because I have five batteries in here. Three for the trolling motor and two for the boat. But basically I have this uh, file crate. You can get them at Walmart. They're a little bit different than a milk crate. Uh, they're a little more rectangular as opposed to square. And the Plano boxes fit uh, really nice in them. Again, I got to go through my stuff. This is early in the year. Uh, I've been haddock fishing, so I got a couple haddock boxes. I'm going to take out and rearrange this in a little bit. Uh, that's my little schoolie plastic box. All right, we're in schoolie season, so all little rubbers and things like that. I can just take that on and off very easily. Uh, this is how I do my live bait rigs. Okay. I tie my own. And basically, I'm using mostly 8 aught circle hooks and 6 aught circle hooks throughout the year. So I got about a hundred tied up, pre-rigged, ready to go in here for the season. I got to start working, doing some six aughts um, in case we get chumming and chunking a little earlier, getting smaller fish. But generally eight aught is my main size circle hook. And this is just how I store them, nice and neat. You can get these bags on Amazon pretty cheaply. And I just tie one, put one in there and go from there. Um, extra hat down there in the corner. Okay, and the way things fit, like these are like my my little weights. I got half ounce, quarter ounce, uh, egg sinkers, bank sinkers, you name it, uh, rubber slip sinkers. They're all in there. All right, if I go to the front, this is a really nice feature of the boat that um, I wasn't sure I was gonna like, but this opens up and it's actually the whole entire thing. You have access to everything in there. So I gotta change this up, but I just got my flares and some extra spare um just fasteners and and crimps connections things like that uh, i got my first aid kit right here this is uh automatic jump starter okay just in case i come down and left my battery switch on or something happens offshore it's charged up ready to go i make sure to take a look at it every week or so every couple of weeks make sure it's charged in case there's an accident out there uh, fire extinguisher tucked away in the corner and this here is my toolbox that has all kinds of wrenches and um, screwdrivers electrical stuff so and pretty much everything i need for anything i could fix on the boat quickly is in there all right um as we go back okay i got my macro station i got this built into the boat all right so this pops out all right this is generally what i'm re-rigging most throughout a trip if i have to get macro rigs out quickly so i got all my sabikis in this straight up open 3700 and then i got my jigs coming in there all right got the hose hammock right here got that in the hull truth great little thing just gets my hose off the deck makes it nice and neat up here i got rod holders and these are extension rod holders i also got in the hull truth they stanchion off about four inches so now i can get nine rods up out of the way on my t-top and it doesn't have to tangle up with anybody and then lastly i got my bilge where i can fit a five gallon bucket my hot prune line and dart and then sometimes i use my second live well as a storage thing all right guys that's a quick rundown of the boat and the storage i'm using thank you very much Check out mouse of the Merrimack.com for more information. Thank you.